I accidentally cut my hair while taking out this little faux lock and I'm really upset with myself for doing this. Hello, hello, my name is Akos and welcome to my channel. <laughs> Akos, where are you at? I'm only so sad right now because I accidentally cut my hair while taking out this little faux lock and I'm really upset with myself for doing this. This is how short I cut it versus how long it should be. And I wasn't gonna record this, but I decided to record it because after doing that and doing the most complicated way of taking these locks down, I'm gonna show y'all how to avoid what I just did and do a much easier way. I, I couldn't measure how long my hair was in all of this. So when I first started, I was doing this whole thing where I would take my time and start from the bottom and go all the way up to the top. Don't do that. It's an easier way. I like minimal, very, very minimal effort to get something done. If there's a quick way, I want to know it and get it over with. Your hair is right here at the root. Find your hair within all of this, okay? So take your hands, go through the hair, right? And try to feel for your braid that's within, your real hair that's within all of that. So she braided my real hair underneath. I think I feel my real hair. And instead, pull your real hair out of the weave. And somebody watching is talking about, this is common sense you should have known this you should have known this i thought this to begin with but i couldn't really tell the length of my hair and i didn't really pay attention to how she was doing it so just to avoid any issues i was starting all the way from the bottom unraveling the fake hair and then i would get here and i would snip it because i thought that's when <laughs> she folded up my hair not knowing that there were some points where she didn't fold it up to here. She just left it like this, okay? So once you are able to separate your hair from the weave, well, from the braiding hair, then you can go ahead and cut off the braiding hair. Be careful with the scissors. <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you. But then you can cut off the braiding hair. And then all you have now is this hair at the root. And you can take it down much easier that way and it won't take so long, okay? Like this is such a simple hairstyle, but taking down this hair has been a process. I've been taking it down, well, I can't blame it on the hair. I've just been busy, but it's been a week now trying to take down my hair. I finally have time since I'm done with my finals. So this hair needs to go. I will do an update from my hair pressed out. It's from a silk press. I haven't straightened my hair since the last time I posted a video saying <laughs> I haven't straightened my hair. I will go ahead and post an updated like length and everything. This is how long my hair is supposed to be versus the hair that I cut. I don't know what I'm going to do, but it's just there. The good thing is that it's in the middle and it's only one piece and not an entire section, but this is ridiculous. I'm looking over here because my display is over here. I feel like y'all y'all know that by now, so I'm going to stop explaining myself with that. This, this is what I got to work with. And I'm hoping my stylist don't say anything, but more than likely I'm going to point it out to her first before she says anything. So... <laughs> Okay, um, let's get up close and personal. You pull your braid out gently though, okay? You're not trying to rip your hair apart, you're just pulling it out of the hair. So y'all see how this one, let me back up a little bit. 
But y'all see how this one, she folded my hair under. That's how I thought she did all of them. But no, they were all really, really different. So that's how I ended up accidentally cutting my hair. So the part where she's folded, you just gently untuck that. You untuck it, you got your hair out, right? So now you can easily cut the faux lock. Right on now. We are back. It is time to finally detangle. That actually took longer than I expected it to. It took about an hour. And then I also tried to record a TikTok video and that took like 30 minutes trying to figure that out. So I will go ahead and detangle. There are two possible, well, you can detangle it however you want, but there are two ways that I like to detangle my hair. The first and easiest one is a bottle of warm water or cold water if you want. I prefer to use warm water because I think it helps my oil and my conditioner dissolve faster. It's up to you. But I use warm water in my little spray bottle. Um, just warm water, any conditioner that you want, it really does not matter. And you can put in oil. There are specific products meant to help you to detangle your hair. I've used some before and I think I've probably reviewed one before. It's like a dark and lovely one. Those are okay, but I feel like this is a cheap, simple way. You know, I'm all about saving your coins, saving my coins. I always have conditioner just added into a spray bottle. You want to make sure that you detangle your roots. That's where all of the dirt and everything that has been just sitting in your hair for the past in my case two and a half months so that's a lot you have to make sure you detangle what detangle detangle wow you have to make sure that you detangle it well because if you don't and you just start going through with the comb you're gonna lose a lot of hair i'll make sure to show you my shed hair um after i detangle my hair second method is the q redo steamer i love this steamer i think this steamer helps a lot when i am detangling anytime i have braids and i take it down i always use this steamer it helps to get all of the roots unstuck it's a very simple and easy method. I kind of use a combination of both of them. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing right now. I know a lot of people don't have a Q redo. If you don't, just use a spray bottle. But I like to use both of them. The steamer gets all of the dirt loose, making it a little easier. And I just like to add the water because it honestly feels better. It feels like my hair is not dry and I'm not detangling on dry hair. So that's why I also spray through. So let's go ahead and detangle and I will be back to show you how much hair I lose. I'm expecting to have a lot of shed hair. I mean, I've had this hairstyle for about two and a half months, almost three months now. So that, it just comes with the territory. Your hair is going to shed throughout that process. Hopefully it will be shed hair and not just breakage from detangling because there is a difference. You don't want to comb out all of the hair that you've just grown throughout this whole process of a protective style and leaving your hair alone. If you need to learn how to talk to a lady, ask your mom. I am getting my hair done professionally, but I really honestly prefer uh, detangling my hair myself. First, initially, even if they are gonna detangle as well, I prefer to just do the initial step see how much hair I'm lose <laughs> and be okay with that because I know that I will be more gentle with my own hair than anyone ever would. So you take it small sections at a time. You want to fill through, fill all the way through, trying to pull slowly apart. And you'll see some of the shed hair that will come out put it aside so I can show y'all later so this is even before I touch it with any sort of comb whatsoever so you want to make sure that is detangled is detangled fine 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 before you start messing with it and start putting a comb through it 
So I am finally done detangling my hair. I split it up into little six sections. It was pretty easy using the steamer. That's why I like the steamer. But again, if you don't have a steamer, just use a spray bottle and be very, very gentle. Um, this is the amount of hair that I lost. It's a lot, but I wasn't expecting anything less. It's about the size <laughs> of my hand. Like this could be, again, a little afro for a Barbie doll, but that's how much hair that I lost. Gotta do that YouTuber hand thing. I don't know if that helps or not, but just to see the comparison, that's about how much hair that I lost. It is a lot, it is. But I wasn't expecting anything less. Again, the longer you keep braids in and protective styles in, the more hair you're going to shed the more hair that's going to come out i'm gonna put this away go to sleep and then tomorrow morning i will get a trim and a silk press i'm going to a natural hair uh, salon i've been there before this will be my second time going there so hopefully the results will be as good as the first time Rise and shine, gotta get the day started, sun beaming in my face as the blessings keep falling.